What it do, what it do, what it do. What's happening? Now, I'll probably lay with this one, but uh, I'll, I'll be trying to get a media chance to see if they're going to talk about stuff. And then I'll be like, dang, why they ain't talk about that? So let me go ahead and talk about it. I want to talk about the Lakers losing to the Raptors without Kawhi Leonard. Nah. I know what y'all probably thinking. I'm about to bash the Lakers. They scrap, they trash. Nah. I think it might be a sign that the Raptors might be. They might be for real this year. Because the Lakers, like, they like a middle of the pack team as far as, like, they're, you know, they'll lose to the teams that's normally, like, middle of the pack. Like Portland, you know, Minnesota, you know, that team that could go anywhere from, they could be anywhere from five to eight in the ranks in the West, anywhere from maybe four to eight, all in there. It's like a dice roll. They in that dice roll, you know. So, you know, the Lakers straight, they just, they didn't have plenty of games that came down to the last two, three minutes. So, if you that close, this probably was their first time all season getting popped. So, I don't think it's a testament of them being not that good or whatever. I think it's a bigger, a bigger testament to the Raptors might be a little bit better you know, that people give them credit for this early in the season because they ain't looking like they're going to be, they might, they might be in that Easter Conference this year, depending on, because the only, only team that can give them trouble is Boston. And I think Boston got to kind of rearrange that pecking order. Now that, you know, now that Kyrie back, so he kind of taking that role. Everybody kind of got to do a little less. When they had to kind of stand out because Kyrie Hayward was gone, they kind of got to learn how to, you know, fit in by fitting out a little bit. So they gonna figure. I mean, they not really in the best spot, but when they get to their best, to their their best version of themselves, they still gonna have to, you know, figure it out a little bit. But I think uh, the Raptors beating the Lakers without without Kyrie says a lot about how good the Raptors. considering that they click it early. They click it real early. So yeah, I think uh I think the Raptors might even be able to uh I ain't gonna go as far as say I think they'd get a Warriors problem, but at the, at the same time you never know. It's hard to say. Just because they got big that you're not going to beat the Warriors at what the Warriors do. And you don't have any Baca, Valentunas, you know, they can, they can use size as their way to beat the Warriors. So they can beat the Warriors because you're not going to outscore them, you're not going to outshoot them, you're not going to do none of that because, I mean, they got two of the best shooters of all time, well, three of the best shooters of all time. So the shooting game, you know, you just gotta try to defend the shoot. You can't outshoot. But that's the trick. You can't think you're gonna get to a shootout with the Warriors. That's playing in the game. It's not gonna work. It's like a guard trying to post up bigs. It's not gonna work. So I think if the Raptors play their game and don't get, you know, don't get class with teams where they get caught up in trying to beat the Warriors at being the Warriors. That's what Houston did, and that's not I mean, they got close. But as the game was on, it was up. You know, so I feel like uh, yeah, they got. Uh, I think the, the, the Raptors is going to be a problem come playoff time. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna revisit this maybe at the halfway point of the season. So uh, I'll get back with y'all shortly. Peace out.